Yeah. All right, guys. Today we're gonna be comparing the 103 Harley Breakout to the Milwaukee 114 Breakout. Do a little walk around of both of them. These do have a couple aftermarket parts on them already. This one has the Vance and Hines radius two by two. It has the Harley Davidson turn signals with the halos on them. Comes stock with a high airflow cleaner. With the 114 badge. It has the LED halos. I'll turn these halos on just so you can see what I'm talking about. These are aftermarket, they don't come factory. It's a quick little walk around about the bike. As you could tell, the difference on the fork size will also compare when you're riding both of them. Again, this is the 114 breakout. And this is the 103. Also aftermarket pipes. It has the Screaming Eagle intake and the Vance and Hines again, two by two radius pipes. These aren't the blacked out version. This one also has a five gallon tank compared to the three and a half gallon tank that the 114 has. This one also has the LED circles, different headlights as you can see. Front tire comparison. The bars are a little different as you can tell, but the biggest difference is the forks and the rear suspension on these. This one is lowered. This one is factory height. This is a really nice Screaming Eagle exhaust. Now we're going to do an idling comparison. Vlad, do you want to start up your bike or this first and then we'll start the 114. So we're going to start the 103 first so you could hear it in idle. This is already warmed up. This is tuned by a Power Commander 3 from 2013. That's what the 103 sounds like. And now we'll start up the 114 in idling too. This has also been warmed up. This has been tuned by the Power Vision 3. runoff on this on the 103 first and then we're going to do a runoff on the 114 so you guys can hear how they sound taking off and obviously the 103 is better obviously that's for you guys to decide a little bit heavier when you pick it up yeah it yeah up. yeah start the bike
was the runoff on that one, and now we're going to do the runoff on the 114 Milwaukee 8 engine, the best engine that Harley's made up to date. Thank you guys for watching our video uh, comparing the two breakout models between the 103 and the 114. Both are great sounding engines. Uh, the 114 is a new style V-twin that Harley has been making compared to the traditional twin cam on the 103. Um, I'm going to give you a little bit of comparisons from riding, handling, and some new and old school features between uh, both bikes. Uh, first off, I'll start off with the uh, gas tanks. The 103 is equipped with a five gallon gas tank, much needed for a traditional style Harley with the twin cams. They weren't as fuel efficient compared to a V-twin 114. Uh, V-twins are a little bit known for their fuel efficiency and um, power also, but this uh, the 114 is equipped with a three and a half gallon tank. Um, they both will probably bring you around the same miles. Maybe the 103 will bring you a little bit longer because it is a five gallon gas tank compared to three and a half. And usually that half is for reserve. Let's talk about handling. The 103 is a, feels a lot heavier. I think if you look up uh, or Google the weight, they're pretty similar, but sitting on the 103, it feels a lot heavier. Um, definitely compared to the 114, you sit on it, you feel a little bit, it's really easier to just pull it up right and go. I'm gonna talk about the handling on the 103 going in the corners, uh, even just coming off in the exit ramp. If you lean too far on the 103, you're gonna pop up. The foot pegs will put, put you back up and straight. Um, you can't lean too much on the 103. It's more of a wider, it feels more wide. Um, compared to the 114, you can go through turns, twisties and corners just fine. You can lean a lot more on the 114. Um, one thing I really enjoy about the 114 is a beginner can hop on it and be able to go through U-turns or go through cor corners just fine. With the 103, it's gonna take some adjustment and getting used to um, pulling on U-turns and going through corners. So with the 114 and the 103, 103, they sound traditionally like any uh, twin cam Harley, the traditional old school Harley. Compared to the 114, it sounds more of like an exotic Harley, something brings it new to the table. To me, I like the 114 sounding better. It's something new, something Harley has not done before. And it sounds to me more like an exotic car compared to your traditional 103 Harley Davidson. The new features that Harley produced in the 114 is no keys. It's all uh, keyless entry, all through a key fob to start up your motorcycle and lock it up as soon as you walk away. It's all through a key fob, does it electronically. They're both great bikes. They both sound good, hopefully. This can help you decide on which bike you would like to buy. Um, like and subscribe to my channel and for more content. Thank you guys.